Hey book club, Dan here from One Man Book Club with a new book to share with you. This is The Enchanted Forest Chronicles by Patricia C. Reed. Book one is dealing with dragons. Book two is searching for dragons. Book three is calling on dragons. And book four is talking to dragons. Now, uh, these books aren't new, they're new to me. Maybe you've heard of them, maybe you've already read them, maybe you have an opinion. If you do, let me know. If you haven't read them before, I suggest you give them a try. One thing I found is really cool about the Enchanted Forest Chronicles is that the series was written in reverse. Yeah, it was written in reverse. Talking to Dragons, book four, was originally published in 1985 as a standalone novel. And then events transpired, magic happened, and the author realized that um, there were stories to be told about the secondary characters from Talking to Dragons. And so that standalone novel became this really wonderfully endearing four book series about the family and friends of the king and queen of the Enchanted Forest, which is not what book four is about. It's really, really cool. You can expect a ton of magic, lots of making fun of traditional fairy tales, which I thought was really neat. Lots of swords, lots of wizards, witches, princesses, knights, kings, queens, all that stuff. And a whole host of various magical creatures, including, of course, lots and lots of dragons, because dragons make everything better. It's a bacon of books. Anyway, um, so Patricia C. Reed tells a story in between the books in this compilation here. She tells a story in each prologue um, about how each of the four books came to be. And, um, you know, I found that the story of how the, the, the backstory, I should say, of how the Enchanted Forest Chronicles came to life, as enchanting as the books themselves. It's really cool. Now, as a whole, I found dealing with dragons, searching for dragons, calling on dragons, and talking to dragons endearing. The story is sweet, and the way the author wrote, wove her books around traditional fairy tale lore was a ton of fun, frequently silly. It was it's going to be really fun to read with the kids. Um, now, one thing I thought was really cool is there's the strong female characters written in these stories back way back in 1985 were light years ahead of their time. Um, for example, one thing that was cool, among a lot of cool things of, around, this, around this theme, was um, that the king of dragons was a girl. Because to dragons, it doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl, anyone can be king, because king is a title. So a girl can be a king, just like a boy can be a king. And so the king of dragons is a girl. And I thought that was really cool, very forward thinking for 1985. I love that the books are the story of a family, and I especially loved seeing how everything came together knowing the last book was written before the first. It was super, super cool because the, 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 the series feels like all the you know, meaty, important stuff of the series is happening in books one, two, and three to culminate in book four, all of the stuff that happens in these three books to culminate in book four, but it's not how it was written. And um, the idea that book four was pre-existing and then books one, two, and three were written to that end, I thought that was super, super fun. Anyway, um, let's see. Now, individually, and even especially early on, I did find the books a little bit dull, uh, probably because they're super basic. There's still enough in them to pull me through. Um, by the end of the series, I was in the author's head. You know how it takes time sort of to get into a new author's head. I finally got there by the end of the series and I was enjoying the simplicity of them. Everything wraps up perfectly with a happy ever after bow. Um, all four books are content, content accessible to fantasy lovers of all ages. Uh, I would say um, parents read it to your kids. Independent readers, probably 10 and over, will, pro will, will be able to handle the Enchanted Forest Chronicles just fine and enjoy them. Um, anyway, I hope you'll give them a try and then let me know what you think after you read them. Um, happy reading, everyone.